Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Good morning, nurses. And um, how are patients doing? Uh, very well, sir. I accept for the moment to type out the case. Uh, he started showing up this morning, but he's okay now. He's asleep. Okay. Well, I'm sure he'll be all right. Well, you know, like I told you, I'll be traveling very soon. And um, I told you while I'm gone, I'll bring your doctor to take care of things here. Well, this is Dr. Brenda. Brenda, nurses. Well, she's also a gynecologist. She trained in London and she's very good at what she does. Good morning, Ma. Uh, I'm Nurse Teresa. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you. I'm Nurse City. You're most welcome, Ma. Thank you. Um, you're welcome, Dr. Brenda. I didn't get your name. Nurse Abigail is my name. Okay, it's nice meeting all of you. Nice meeting you too. Okay, um, Nurse Teresa, please come with me. Let's um, keep our up speed with our cases. What case do we have here? Well, um, hepatitis A. Uh, but he's been recovering very well uh, until yesterday that um, his temperature rose tremendously. Um, he's been asleep since yesterday evening and has been unable to eat. Well, that's the effect of the disease that harms the liver and causes loss of appetite. Did he complain of any pain on the right side near the liver or the lower rib? Yes, I mean, those are the symptoms why the um, family rushed him here. Um, his urine had turned very dark yellow and the feces whitish. But he's getting better. He's getting better. Okay, if he doesn't wake up in five minutes, we'll have to wake him up and make sure he gets something to eat or at least drink and then he can go back to sleep. Yes, ma. He'll be fine. Okay, let's move on to the next patient, okay? Doctor. Doctor, don't come. No, oh, there's no problem. Ah, thank God. Hey, as I they come, now here they pray, say, make God help you delay and make enough force militia. Because yesterday, first militia. And I know we'll make it come first militia again today. You better stop deceiving yourself. In fact, fooling yourself. The doctor is inside. Ah, I don't die. Eh? You don't ask for me. No, he did not. He forgot to. He came in up quite long with a lady that will become our new doctor when he travels. Not on one traffic. Yes, tomorrow or thereabout, yeah? So you have to stop this habit of your coming late. So the new doctor doesn't see you like a perpetual late comer. Have you heard? Uh, and what will she do if Biliki comes late, eh? Why are people giving so much power to one small girl? Biliki, you don't mind her. Don't give yourself hypertension because of one fortunate small girl. Eh? Our new doctor now, small girl. If you see this girl, you will pass her for my first doctor. Hey, a big girl. She's not that young. I beg, I won't go do my work first. We'll go to the candy just later. Ah, Abigail, you've already met Dr. Brenda, your enemy. Hey, you seem to hate her without a reason. Me, I don't hate anybody. Yo. She should mind her own business and I will mind my own. Simple. Don't hate anybody. Yeah. Yes, um... In line with what I've been telling you all concerning my trip, I'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning, okay? I am not sure when I'll be back, but as soon as I get a date, I'll communicate the same to all of you. But while I'm gone, um, as you know, Dr. Brenda will be here, and um, you can consult her on any issues that um, you may need me for, okay? Any questions? No, sir. Nostity? No question, sir. Abigail? Sir, I would like to know if 
Dr. Brenda here is going to assume your office fully or we'll have to call on her anytime we need assistance. Dr. Brenda will fully assume my duties while I'm gone. Okay. Becky? No questions, sir. Dr. Brenda? I don't have a question, but I do have some things to say. I'm a very strict person with so much regards for time. I hate laziness and I admire speed. I'm sure we all know the nature of our job, that every second counts. I'll admonish all of us to please be smart, fast, and most importantly, diligent. And I hate lateness. Thank you very much. That'll be all for now. Okay, so in the absence of any further questions, you may all leave now and go back to work. Okay. Thank you, sir. Clinic matters. Keep watching. I hate laziness. I admire speed. The kind of a job every moment comes. Who is Amit that she's trying to let you? She didn't say anything wrong there. I mean, she's just doing her job. Mm. And part of her job includes insulting us like some auxiliarians that was employed yesterday, Abby. So I better watch herself. Uh, because I don't want any insult from one small girl. Uh, if I like say that two man go wicked, where were Which woman? She's a girl. Why are you referring to her as woman? Don't let me express my anger on you first, though. Why are you so angry with Dr. Brenda? What's her offense? She had better not talk to me anyhow, or else I'll talk to her anyhow. Me, I know sound. Good morning, Ma. Oh, good morning. How are you? Where are the other nurses? Um, they are yet to resume, Ma. I didn't get that. They are yet to resume. Maybe they couldn't get a bus on time. Don't make up excuses for them. I hate it when I get to work before my workers. It pisses me off and it goes a long way to signify unseriousness and lack of passion for the job. They don't resume usually late, Ma. Oh, so why is it happening today? Oh, I get it. Because they feel the bus has traveled and it's one young female lady who's in charge now. They can resume any time they like. Tell them to see me immediately they step into this premises. Yes, ma. Where is Biliki? She's inside. Okay. Work here. Now what's up, Uma? Why is the bin in my office yet to be disposed? Uh, I've been in the same car I cleaned the room first before I go can sweep this place. Take that bin out of my sight right away and come back and clean this place up. You people are going to make me lose my temper and you don't want to see the other side of me. Trust me. Uh, sorry, ma. I hate it when people apologize to me. Just do as I say. Uh, first. Sorry, <laughs> Um, she said the boss of you should see her immediately in the museum. I don't have her time here. She just leave me. What's up, girl? Let's go and see her. She will only ask why we resumed late. And we'll explain to her. Simple. And I don't have that patience at all. Is she not aware of the increase in fair price and the cost of transition is very, very outrageous? Ah, uh, what kind of thing is that? If she had the slightest idea of how I got to work today, she would just hold her peace and let me be. Go and explain to her. You don't have to be rude or aggressive about it. Just explain calmly. Nurse, me and I like her. That woman is sat on my head. She doesn't behave like a soldier. Stop referring to her as woman. It's irritating my ears. She's a girl. Uh, okay, I don't like that girl. Oh. Eh? Why see they sat on my head? Because they, they are not carrying the, the dustbin when they inside the office. It does they sat like say me and uh, basically take time. See, they look for my trouble. Why didn't you clean the office immediately you resumed? I mean, that is what you do normally. Hey, I forget now. I said make her quickly go clean the uh, room where the dirty first before I go can clean her. I know they said the office is dirty self. She does they sat up and down. <laughs> Um, no, Sabiko, let's go and see her for our own case now. Let's go. Me, I don't have any case with her. It's you that's making me to go inside there, and when I get there, she'll better respect herself, or else I'll talk to her anyhow. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're not going to do your job now. Like, you say you 
je suis chantée là-dessus. I thought I made myself clear yesterday as regards the issue of lateness. We're very sorry, ma'am. We couldn't get a boss on time because of... Why don't you speak for yourself alone? Okay. I couldn't get a bus due to the full hike the nation is experiencing. I tried all I could to get here early. I'm really very sorry, ma'am. And Abigail? Same here. What do you mean by same here? I couldn't get a vehicle coming down here and I live very far. You don't expect me to trek down to work. Abigail? Yes, Brenda. What? Do you have a problem working with me as your boss? My boss? You are not my boss. You're only here to stand in as my boss. That doesn't make you my boss. Happy girl. What? We're having a conversation, aren't we? For the few days I'll be working here. If you do come late again, I will have to fire you. <laughs> Very funny. You can go now. That'll be all for now. Thank you, ma'am. This girl does not know what I'm capable of. Clinic matters. Keep watching. Nasabi get addressed her as Brenda. And I was shocked. <laughs> that was the wrong thing to do. She called me Abigail first. If you don't look for my trouble, I won't look for yours. I don't know why you are scared of that small girl. No one is scared of her. We only were expressing the fact that she was brought in by our boss. Me, I don't care who brought her in. All I know is that she shouldn't look for my trouble and I will not look for hers. I support you, Jari. I sacrifice to myself. Now, so she go to start money. Biliki, biliki. Let's say, Nasi, give me the name. What I'll suggest is let's just tolerate her till the doctor returns. It's just a matter of days. That's all. I will not tolerate anybody anymore. I have been tolerating people all my life. Let them start tolerating me. Oh, Nasabi, I support you, Wewe. You see, if I do, make you a slapper. Make you beat and wear wear. If you need my help, call me. We go get a beat and wear wear. This is the doctor. We go say, no lie, see the lie. Ah ah, that girl two months. It's too smart to be doctor self. Ah, who who? They say they suppose the sick person start shop and age before they go give person doctor. They say make all animal where get blood come out. Nice snake, can they so face? That one. If not be scan this and where make refuse bend. That one I go can they call doctor for waiting. So, this is what you people do. You abandon your job and you gossip. Professional nurses don't gossip. I was actually going to check on the patients. Excuse me. Uh, I, I would go and assist her. Excuse me. And you, Nurse Abigail, don't you have anything to do? The reception cannot be left empty, except you're willing to stay here. Rubbish. No, this is a Clinic matters. Keep watching. When this trip is finished, do not give him another one. That's not what his house says. His house says to give him another one after this. I just told you not to give him another one. Why? Dr. Brenda, this patient has been receiving treatment here like before you assumed duty. And his father says to give him another one after this. Do you doubt my competence or do you just have a problem obeying simple instructions? So do you have any special plan for tomorrow? Uh, nothing really. I'm planning to spend it with my family. I know my sister, they're coming in first thing tomorrow morning. But I'll be closing very early so I can spend some time with them. Okay, you should tell Dr. Brenda you'll be closing earlier tomorrow. For what now? That's the right way to do things. You won't just leave work earlier than normal without permission from your boss. Eh? See, I agree with every other thing you're saying, but that boss aspect, never. She's not my boss. So what you people are trying to let me know now is that you don't know when the original doctor will return. What do you mean original doctor? Who told you the one available is fake? Isn't she? She doesn't check me as someone that knows anything. Go to the new doctor is a female. Yes, and she thinks this place is a military barracks where she can give orders anyhow. I need her to examine me. Uh, it's like my waist and my backside, they need thorough massaging. I still think we should carry out another test on him to be very sure of what we're dealing with. All he's complained about are symptoms of other illnesses. There will be no need for another test. 
All he requires now is a man's treatment. Give him his drugs and injection. As stated in his file. I still think it's wise for us to carry another test on him. Do you have a problem with keeping your mouth shut and just following simple instructions? Did you just tell me to shut up? Yeah, yeah.